go there. So, guess what? Four it up, comfortable <laughs> as you like, and then we all decide to take a little siesta, don't we? Um, it's the frickly way, isn't it? Yeah, it's it the frickly yeah. way, it's never dull. Um, no, we said that at half time, you know, we found ourselves in a really good position, 3 0 up without particularly playing well. Mm. Um, you know, at this time of year, the pitch is turning a wee bit and it. It, it can spoil our game a bit, but um, uh, without well being far from our best first half, I thought it was a pretty professional performance. Yes. And like, yeah. So we came to half time three 0 up, and we had addressed that for last periods that first half, particularly when we went two 0 up. We just got too comfortable, just playing a bit deep and letting mm -hmm. them have the ball. Yeah. Um, so what we said at half time is we've been the other side of that where we know that once a team gets in that little comfort zone, it's so hard to drag yourself back out of it. Yeah. And if the game goes 3-1, three, 3-2, three, yeah. we'll be clinging on for dear life. Mm. Um, so he says, go score the next goal. That should be enough. Okay. And then, um, you know, can we kick on from there? But we don't want to waste 45 minutes of the second half when we're the home team by sitting deep and just letting it become a game of attack v defence. So... Yeah, a great start to the second half. We get you know the four 0 early, and then we did exactly what we you know <laughs> spoke yeah. about not doing. Um, and I've been there myself as a player. It can be so hard at sometimes. You think oh, it's four 0 it's comfortable. We yeah. just sit in and be hard to break down. It's and I, again going back to half time. I said to the lads, if we're away from home now, I'm delighted with this. You know, we'll, we'll sit in this low block and we'll, yeah. we'll stay where yeah, we yeah. are. Yeah. And we'll be gritty. At home, that's not for us. We want to play a certain way. We mm. want to play on the front foot. Um, so yeah, really disappointing after um, you know being four 0 up in the first goal. Some might see it as a worldie. It's a great strike from the lad, but poor defending. Show him yeah. outside. Exactly. Show him said, outside. Yeah. You know, and if we have to deal with the cross, we've been looking really yeah. good at that uh, recently. But we don't, we let him inside, he finds the top corner. Then the second one, we're too eager to go and win the ball, we get spun, um, and then concede the goal from a corner, which we shouldn't do with the personnel we've got. Yeah. And then they get the third goal, and it's, it's game on. Um, and even disappointingly then, when they're throwing the kitchen sink, we've had another couple of opportunities to just yeah. score the fifth and, and take the wind out of the sails, which didn't happen. Um, and it became a really interesting game for the last 15 minutes, you know, and, and certainly not for me. Um, but really disappointing with the lack of discipline, intensity, yeah. energy, yeah. Um, just to get the game dealt with in, in, in a better manner. Because if it is a bit of a poor second half and we win 4-0, okay, yeah, then all yeah. right, you know, yeah. things to build on. But, um, you know, we've conceded three goals and Callum's made another couple of good saves. So that's the really disappointing thing from us looking so um, assured mm -hmm. on Tuesday night at Barton. Um, and without really being trouble the first half as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was just disappointing like to be, to be conceding goals from set pieces um, and again I think it's just a lack of focus, lack of discipline mm. which is really disappointing um, but it gives food for thought for next week for the first time in a long time we've got a training session on Tuesday yeah. which will be great for us to just relax, reset, refocus go yeah. through a few messages and revisit a few things about our shape and stuff um, to lead us on into what will be another really difficult game this weekend Yeah, when they when they scored their first I said to you, oh, that's a shame, it's it's ruined our clean sheet. <clears throat> Little did I know what was to come. So, you know what? It's three points, isn't it? It is. And, you know, we started the, the debrief after the game where they, they, they got a bit of stick, to be honest, and, and rightly so. But we finished with the fact that I don't want them to leave here uh, being despondent at the way the game mm. sort of ended with them on top um, because we'd have snatched someone's hand off for this five weeks ago. Yeah. Um, we're now in a position where we've got three wins out of the last four games. We're in two cup quarterfinals. We're still chasing the playoffs. We're in a really, really good, positive position. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to finish off by reminding the lads of that. You know, I will always hold them to, to the highest standard because of their capabilities. Um, and they know that overall today, I'll say we it wasn't good enough. Um, but you know, certainly we're not going to turn our nose up at you know scoring four goals ourselves. Yeah. Um, and, and and win another game. Yeah, and uh, I'm guessing they're not going to have a rest this week, are they, either? Oh, absolutely not. Like I said, it, we've got plenty to work on. You know, plenty yeah. to work on. We've got a few new players who've come into the squad um, who we need to get up to speed with, with things. You know, they've missed out on a lot of detail in training sessions, which we can now get into them to make everyone a lot more confident and assured. Um, so I'm really looking forward to Tuesday and getting back at it because um, we need to keep on a, a bit of a winning run now. And, yep. You know, a really tough game on Saturday away at Eccles Hill, um, followed up by an even tougher game 
potentially against Stocksbridge in the Cup on Tuesday night, but it's an exciting time for us. Yeah, of course you know, it, yeah. we, we want to be in and around it, we want to kick on, we don't want to see our season fizzle out. Um, finishing around mid-table, we want to keep pushing, and I think this league still will change quite a few times between now and the end of the season. We've got to make sure we're causing a stir at the right end of it. Yeah, like next Saturday, let's score the four again, but maybe just keep it a bit tight at the other end, and we'll, we'll have that. I'll take a 1-0. Cheers, Gaffer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>